There was a report that was le- released on Friday, and I think it's one that we should talk about. It is, uh, it, it, it outlined how in the era of neurocapitalism, your brain needs new human rights. Now, following the recent uh, revelations that Elon Musk's Neuralink is developing technology to be able to link your mind to the Internet, it goes both ways. You're going to be able to access with your mind the Internet. But the Internet will also be able to access you. Now... This is when everybody's favorite good guy comes in, Mark Zuckerberg. He's, his company is now funding research on what's called BCI, brain-computer interfaces, that can pick up thoughts directly from your neurons and translate them into words. Researchers say they have already built an algorithm that can decode words from brain activity in real time. So in other words, you're thinking, hey, I need to uh, Google what this word is or whatever you're thinking. This algorithm can hear your thoughts and turn them into words and actions. Elon Musk's company has what's called flexible threads that can be implanted into the brain and could allow you to control your smartphone, your computer, with just your thoughts. Musk wants to start testing in humans by the end of 2020. Now, <clears throat> maybe, perhaps, just because we can do something doesn't mean we should do something. Now, there is absolutely no way to stop technology. It's just not going to happen. Um, well, I mean, unless you're God. Can I just tell you a real quick theory? I don't know if I've said this before on the air. I think I have. Uh, but I'd, I'd ask you to ponder it. You know, when, when God stopped uh, the Tower of Babel from being built, it was the merciful God. And how did he stop it from being built? He confused their language. Because if they could do this, according to the Bible, if they could do this, they could do anything. And God knew that that would not work out well, so he confused their language and they scattered. Well, what is our language? Our language is not English or Chinese. Our language is ones and zeros. Confusing our language would stop us from destroying the human race. Because I I do think this is a real possibility. I want to talk to you about what happened. Elon Musk um, and Jack Ma... Uh, got into kind of an, a little bit of a spat or an argument. They were doing a, um, they were doing a, uh, a, a conference together, and one of them really believes that AI is dangerous, and Jack Ma, it just seems to me to be out on planet 10. He just doesn't see any risk to it at all. But you tell me, considering that these two companies and others are advancing and have ambitions... The report warns that your brain is the final privacy frontier, and it may not be private much longer. He laid out how existing laws are not equipped to handle these emerging technologies that could interfere with the rights that are so basic we may not even think of them as human rights, like our ability to determine where ourselves end and machines begin. So a researcher at ETH in Zurich who published the paper uh, detailing four human rights for the neurotechnology age that he believes need to be protected by law. Uh, The researcher said, I'm very concerned about the commercialization of brain data in the consumer market. Well, so am I, but I'm also concerned about governments having the same thing. He said, I'm not talking about a far-fetched future We already have consumer neurotech with people trading their brain data for services from private companies. He said he pointed to video games that use brain activity and wearable devices that monitor human activities such as sleep. I'm tempted to call this neurocapitalism. So here's what he said that we have to talk about right now. 
And I don't think you could get anybody in Washington to listen to this. Maybe a few. Massey probably would listen to this. But he said, we need four new rights. One, the right to cognitive liberty. You should have the right to freely decide if you want to use given neurotechnology or refuse it. The right to mental privacy. You have a right to seclude your brain data or to publicly share it. Now, I just want you to think about this. We're talking about the only thing that you own, really own, that are really yours, are your thoughts. This new BCI, which is being developed, Musk and Zuckerberg and others around the world, will read your mind. Third right, the right to mental integrity. You should have the right not to be harmed physically or psychologically by neurotechnology and the right to psychological con uh, continuity. You should have the right to be protected from any alterations to yourself of self uh, that you did not authorize. Now, here's the thing. This is what they're saying. Brain data is the ultimate refuge of privacy. When that goes, everything goes. And once brain data is collected on a large scale, it will be very hard to reverse the process. The scariest thing you'll read all day is this report. So how long, says the researcher, will it be until this is co-opted for national security purposes? According to the interview... Samuel noted that Defense Department's Advanced Research Agency, that's DARPA, is already working on neurotechnologies that could be used on soldiers. He said there's already a military-funded research to see if we can monitor decreases in attention levels and concentration with the hybrid BCIs that can read deficits in attention levels and then rewrite the brain to increase alertness through neuromodulation. These are DARPA-funded projects that attempt to do so. Wow. And we're still arguing things like what? That you're born as a man and now you can choose to be a zebra and we all have to... I mean, look at what we're headed towards. Don't you think we should stop and talk about this. There's no need for torture anymore. They'll literally be able to read your mind. There's no need for indoctrination camps. All that, all that China has to do is just implant people with this technology and they can rewrite their brain to be, what, a Stepford wife? Don't you think at times we're talking about the wrong things?